The maker of EpiPen is responding to outcry from parents, doctors, and lawmakers over the medication's sky-high price. Yeah, EpiPen prices have climbed 450 percent in seven years, surpassing 600 bucks. It's a lot of money. Today, the owner, Milan, announcing a 50 percent savings card for people without insurance. On tonight's Consumer File, Debbie Dejanovic shows us lower cost solutions for doctors and patients alike. It's sort of like there's like a bubble in my throat and I like can't clear my throat. That's how a bad allergic reaction typically begins for Katie King. The 17-year-old's severe food allergies have forced her into anaphylactic shock six times. I get a lot of anxiety and I'll like start to freak out. She feels like she can't breathe and then her blood pressure plummets. Each time a quick dose of the synthetic adrenaline, epinephrine, reverses the life-threatening symptoms. You hold it for three seconds. That's it. Now the EpiPen is delivering Katie's mom a dose of sticker shock. Twelve years ago, she says a two-pack of EpiPens would cost her nothing thanks to her insurance coverage. But six weeks ago... We were quoted a price of $950 for the two-pack. Insurance and a manufacturer coupon knocked a few hundred off that price. We wanted the safety net. But the $650 price tag was a really hard pill to swallow. Mylan, the maker, blames the health care system and rising insurance deductibles. I haven't really heard an acceptable answer yet. This isn't like it's a new device or a, a new medicine. I mean, it's something that's been around for a long time. Dr. Douglas Jones' Rocky Mountain Allergy Clinic no longer uses the $600 plus EpiPens. Instead, they use a $20 alternative when a patient suffers a reaction at the clinic. We're able to buy kind of a stock bottle of, of epinephrine, and then we have trained staff here who are able to draw it up in syringes and just use it that way. The epinephrine itself is very inexpensive. Dr. Peter Talak of the Utah Bureau of Emergency Medical Services develops protocols for the state CMTs and paramedics. Several EMS agencies have requested the Bureau to allow them to not carry the EpiPens because they're so expensive. Like Rocky Mountain Allergy, those agencies want to switch to using epinephrine vials with syringes marked for adult and kids dosages. This is the majority of their budget for medications and equipment. As far as parents and kids go, Doctors say using syringes manually at home is not an ideal solution. The right dose, how are you going to keep the syringe safe? I think there's there's a lot of variables that make that difficult or challenging for other people. As for Katie, well, she's already dreading the day she ages off her parents' insurance. How am I supposed to come up with $1,000 to to buy that? It's a lot of money. And again, Mylan's 50% off savings card is for people who are paying the full price. There is an alternative called AdrenaClick, which delivers the same medicine, but it functions differently. Utah-based LoisMed.com sells a generic version of that for $243. And Mike is a person, myself, who carries an EpiPen, I can tell you. You go to the pharmacy, you hear that price tag, and it is total sticker shock. Yeah, well, you hope some of these other companies put more on the market, therefore forcing the price to go down. Yeah. yeah. All right, Debbie, thank you. Deanie?